before TVGN, there was the guide. That was then. This is now. All programming, no guide. TV Guide Network is now TVGN. It's a new look. It's a new era. It's a new logo. The stars. The fashion. She's very classic. The glamour. We are live for the Academy Awards. It's a new look. It's a new logo. It's TVGN. This is Hollywood. Previously on Nail Files. We are producing a large-scale event on Sundance. The Sundance Film Festival is a big deal. This is my opportunity to get press. Where are all these big names? I didn't see anybody. And tonight, hi. I got offered the opportunity for an Oscar gifting suite. I feel like, OK, I'm going to give it another chance. I think it's for Rowena. Who are these people? You wrote me a bad check, Katie. You have to give me 30 days written notice. There says nothing about 30 days, Eileen. You're just saying that. Absolutely offensive. I signed the paperwork. I have the copy. If you want to take that to court, fine. I don't care at this point. The banner is going to be ready at 5.30. The Sundance gifting suite that Relina set up for me didn't go over like I expected. I say we go. OK. The way you look at it on TV, Sundance is like glitz and glam. The streets are filled with celebrities. But it was like a huge waste of time. Sunday the 27th is Oscars. But then I got offered the opportunity for an Oscar gifting suite. There's going to be more opportunity to actually have a visual on your product. You cannot get bigger than the Oscars. So I feel like, OK, I'm going to give it another chance. It's going to be a good opportunity to get one of my polishes named. A gifting suite is where celebrities will show up, and you can give your product to them, and they'll take pictures, or they'll feature it in magazine articles. Bye-bye. I just called Rowena. She's like, it's going to be really good for you. Um, oh, and then. What is it costing you to do this event? Like 500 bucks. Plus the cheers that I want to get are 400. It's costing you $1,000, not including both your and my time right now. And my products, and, and then your having product. the girls. People jump at all these gifting suite opportunities. My experience with it is that you're not going to get the A-list celebrities coming around, and you, what you always end up doing is getting a big bill. What I'm saying is, is you're out minimum $2,500. It's branding. You have to get your brand out there. It's going to be B, C celebrities. It's going to cost you money, and you're going to be stuck somewhere where you're going, I can't believe there was nothing here, da, 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 da. I already know it. I think Walter has a really good point, but you never know who is going to walk in to that gifting suite. What if it's a great turnout? No, I've never done one here in LA. Pull the plug. You know what it's going to be like. You know how I feel? I feel like that's just bad for me to just bail. I just don't think that's right to do that. Ugh. Being the manager can be stressful sometimes. Good afternoon, the painted nail, this is Nicole. Not only do I just manage the place, but I open the store, clean it up, check the messages, answer the phones. I'm also party planner. That would come out to 654. And then cleaning at the end of the night and then closing the store up. I feel like I take on a whole lot of stuff. Oh, I'm gonna die. You still have this color? You did this a month ago. Hey, here's what I think I need to do. I think we just need to make the party lounge look a little bit nicer, you know, when we show the space. Mm -hmm. Hi, we had a Manny Petty appointment. Um, where, I don't even know where the book's at, so I'll move the book. One second, sorry. Where's Nicole? I don't know. <laughs> Let's just go. Where's the receptionist? They had an appointment? Yeah. Nicole has so much on her plate. Oh, she's got to go here. She's got to go there. She's got to go up to the party room. She's got to answer the phone again. What time was your appointment for? 3 o'clock. 3 o'clock, OK. Yeah. You didn't know? You know, I didn't, but it's OK. <laughs> I, it will, really? We'll work it out. Nicole is dropping the ball, and it affects me every day. Like, this is my livelihood. This is my career. This is what I do. Seriously, she I don't know be why right now. someone's not there. It's just irritating. Like, it's, you know? 
Nicole. Hi. How did it go next door? Are we done? It's good. Um, the girls are just finishing up on their two last clients. OK, but who's running it over there, then? Nobody. It's just the two girls doing their services. There should always be someone sitting at the front desk. Nicole needs to really step to the plate and focus on her job. Who's the two girls there? Shelly and Tigra. They're there by themselves? Yeah, but I have, like, the phone in the book. But what if somebody walks in? It's not like there was 10 million clients at the desk. Why are you making a big deal out of it for? I f hate today. All right, babies, I'm almost ready. All right, sweetie. You can take me? I sure can. Today is the Oscar gifting suite. Today's Saturday, right? Hopefully, some fun, high-profile people and celebrities come in and name some of my polishes. Hi. Hi. Hello. <laughs> I'm really excited to do this. You know, I see Fred Siegel hair, yoga. And when you first walk in, it's like a painted nail right in front of you. It's called No Place Like Home. Well, this is the organic sugar body polish. It's all about coordinating. This is Katie. Hi. Katie owns the salon. Oh, hi. hi. She's an actor, obviously. I really hope that Katie appreciates the work that we put in for her, because we do work really hard. And the actress. Did I meet you through Rolina? Who are these people? Did you want to get your nails done? No, I just wanted to see your, oh. <laughs> your product. I knew it. The Oscar gifting suite is not worth it. You end up spending your own money and then giving your stuff to some extra on Twilight or some There's no person I recognize in this supposedly celebrity-filled menu. Well, they were sent here before you got here, and it looked like a Lindsay were really close to getting Lindsay Lohan to come. I thought she was in jail. Um, wow. Uh, what's it I've had so many people say, I'm like, Ugh. Like, I'm literally like, tell me what you do so what I know how great you are. When the person is like, you know, super D listy and they're just coming for the free stuff, they're not gonna get you publicity for your products. Do you have a, a nail polish I can have? I don't know if I have time. To oh, do that. Katie has never been realistic about the level of clientele that she's aiming to reach. What about this? Who did I give stuff to today? Like, who has my product? Who is going to make a difference for me? You're the high worth the older man. Right? You gotta be tougher. I know, but you know me. I'm nice. I'm hard to be I feel like I need to be tough. I know. I just, I feel bad. I just can't do it. Berlina didn't really come through, and that's the one thing that I think is the most disappointing about this whole ordeal. I'm never doing this again. The spring line isn't ready because there's no names. Mm -hmm. It's just as easy as you you name them now and we switch them out. I don't want to announce it if it's not ready. You have too much on your plate and it's like a friggin' nightmare. I just want a new girl. They're Oscar winners, humanitarians, moguls. But who cares? Let's get to the close. She looked like an angel. It was a disaster. An epic fail. In Celebrity Style Story, watch the stars rise to fame through their fashion. J-Lo nailed it. Every show, a new star. See how these stylistas went from fashion freshmen. She looked like she was an alien. It just was a hot mess. To great at Glamazons. It was ravishing. Yeah. yeah. Catch back-to-back -back episodes of Celebrity Style Story, Sundays at 1110 Central on TVGN. How'd it go today? Um, it went pretty decent. The Oscar gifting suite is finally over, and I'm just like, thank you, Jesus. OK, I need to do a petty, or I'm going to die. I want to do a fun color. I don't want to think about work. I just want to relax. Oh my god, it smells good. You're like, like, can you just skip all this and massage me? You know, you know what's <laughs> Yeah. Wouldn't you know it, in walks Relina. Hey, what do you want to well, do as far as the line is concerned? The spring line isn't ready because mm -hmm. there's no names. Mm -hmm. I thought I was going to get some good names at the Oscar gifting suite, mm -hmm. and I didn't. Katie can be difficult at times. There are certain times where what our vision of the campaign is does not always line up with their version. You can name a polish after a celebrity. I mean, like Liz Taylor, now that she passed away. What? 
That's not very drops. springy here. Yeah. But yeah. And it's just as easy as you you name them now and we switch them out. I don't know when Relina started to get pushy, but I don't feel like I need to do it on Relina's terms. I don't want to announce it if it's not ready, you know? I have a sparkle. I have one of the top coat ones. You do? Yeah. I don't even have, I have one. How the hell does she have the samples before I do? Mm -hmm. I didn't even know there were samples. I don't even have the top coat. That really pisses me off. And then the last thing I have to ask for what? This month's re retainer? And I feel like Relina doesn't understand that we are not on the same page. And it's like, you know what? I don't want to pay for this. I'm going to have to go to the bank. OK. Tomorrow? Yes. OK. Yay. She ruined my pedicure moment. Ruined. That was really weird. I literally wanted to fire her, and I couldn't do it. How do I do oh, it? You, you say it. The hell? You're paying them. <gasps> There's a party. Oh, so they're coming at one. Yeah. Hi, I don't know if I've got the right number for the painted nail. What is this message? We are located at one. Every single call that comes in, you have to treat that as if it's your one and only client. It's nice to have somebody up there. Mm -hmm. If my clients don't come in, I don't get paid. So I don't want any drama, but when it comes to my money and me paying my rent, like, I will crack the whip. Katie needs to know what's going on. We need it all, everyone yes, on yeah. board. Hi. Uh, is there someone next door answering the phone? Yeah, there's a Kimmy and stuff. Like a Kimmy uh -huh. and a Bianca. They're all there. Well, it, I was just, it was ringing and they went to answer machine twice. So no one's answering. I'm just so you know. I don't know. Oh, okay, gosh. Cool. Thank okay. You. okay, we'll talk about yeah. it later. All right. <sighs> Pretty much, Raquel just threw me under the bus in front of my boss. Like, Really? Nicole, how are you? Now I'm about to have a nervous breakdown. I'll talk when you get back. Right. The phone wasn't being picked up, and I don't want this stuff to start looking like Nicole's, like, no. I just don't want it to be de-promoted or whatever, like, put down lower. If she does get a receptionist anyway, like, it's like, that's the person that gets to, like, talk to everybody first, communicate to everybody first, you know? That's like, that's a why. big deal. I am not going to get to the level that I am and have it all taken away from me because of Raquel. If you need something, don't hesitate to call me and then it'll help you out. Mm -hmm. Just want to be manager. Here's the thing. One of my clients called and canceled. I marked out two hours for her and she never told me, so I had to refuse like two clients. Who she need Nicole. Hold on a second, someone called to cancel and did she come over and say, oh, by the no, way? No, that's what I'm telling you, she forgot. Wait, whoa, that's bad news. Like if I were you, I would have been crazy if someone didn't tell me about this. I feel like I need to call Nicole and just ask her why I wasn't aware of all of that. Seriously, why don't we have a housekeeper? Duty! Hey. I got you a present. Walter loves to clean. So I bought Walter the cutest purple shark vacuum that you have ever seen. I got it for you because I love you. And I think I was hoping to hear you say that you got it for us. I'll, I'll brush some of sugar. <gasps> Shut up. Look at that, Judy. It sucks up the dog fur. This is awesome. Look at I that. know. You can use this on everything. You love it. It is like a full-on shark attack in our house. I have a jingle in my head. Lift away, shark navigator, let you lift away. It's a million dollar jingle right there, yo. <laughs> For your um, lotion, would you like the vanilla with glitter or do you want the almond? Raquel tells me Nicole is not cutting it She's forgetting appointments, and I'm losing yes. customers yes. because of her. Give the phone to Tigra really fast, because I wanted to talk to you really oh, quick sure. next door. OK. I'm pretty nervous, because the scheduling has been messed up lately. And technically, like, it's my fault. Um, I feel like you're doing so much that it's crazy. So there's different things that I'm going to change. You have too much on your plate. I just want a new girl to sit at that front desk that, you know, has great customer service. I, I would still like to be able to do that, too, if, if you can't do the front. So it usually ends up in someone else's hands, and it's a friggin' nightmare. But here's what I think I'm going to do. I feel like it's going to be much better if 
you're in charge of managing the girls. You're doing so much, like you really are. It just makes me know how much you care about the store and you want us to win. Yeah. And I feel the same way about you. I want you to win and I don't want you to fry. I'm really, really excited because I realize that like we need somebody to sit there and answer the phones and I cannot wait. Team Paint and Nail. Hell yeah. Knock, knock. Hello. How are you? I brought you two full sets with top coats. Okay. Relina is here, and she has my samples of the new line that I requested. And then we didn't have any scrubs. You know this is the wrong top coat. There's blue sparkles. <gasps> You're right. You've been sending this to editors of magazines. You know, this is kind of like the last straw. This is going to be really weird and come off crazy. I think we're going like this. You wrote me a bad check, Katie. I will pay you for the days you work. Absolutely offensive. If you want to take that to court and try to argue it, fine. This is not the right one. What is this supposed to look like? It's supposed to be clear with like, <gasps> you're right. When Relina gives me the bag of samples, it's wrong. So, okay, this is gonna be really weird and come off crazy. Can you close that? Mm -hmm. I, um, I just feel like it's not, I think things were going like this. So I don't want to do, I have a publicist anymore. Okay. I mean, that's that's your choice. You're the client. That's fine. I mean, this is yeah. something that like, I mean, we don't even need to discuss. This is something you have to take up with Eileen. Okay. If it was me getting fired, I'd be like, is there something I could do better? Tell me points that you want me to improve on instead of, oh, okay. Hello? Hey, Katie, how are you? Good. So I will need you to pay for what was due on the 15th. Once the contract ends, it goes month to month. Okay. So can you give Relina the check before she goes? You know what, at this point, fine. I just want this to be over with. There you go. Thank you. You're welcome. Hi. Hey, Doris. I just fired really no and Eileen. Really alright? I'm just really pissed about this whole thing. Like people don't give a about you. They really don't. Yes. She just wants her dumb check. That's all she ever cared about. As I'm talking to him, I pull up my contract. It's over. It ended a long time ago. They're like work for hire. You work this day, you get paid. You don't work, you don't get paid. It doesn't say anything about 30 days. It just says that I have to pay. You gotta put a stop payment on your check. That's nice. Put a stop payment on that check right now, or I will. Bring it to me. <laughs> that crib is like. I am gonna cancel the check because I feel like the amount written was wrong. I've wiped my tears away. I feel like we're gonna see a whole new painted nail. We get some nails done in here or what? <laughs> Hi. Hello. What's going on? Oh, yeah. Hey, I'm Dean. I'm Katie. Hey, Katie. Nice to meet you. Hi, Jack. Hi, Jack. Oh my God, who is that tall glass of water? And it was Dean McDermott, who is married to Tori Spelling. I've walked past this <laughs> place about like 100 times. And, and you're like, what is it? Been in. What is it? Well, it is a nail bar. This is my staff of lovely ladies. My staff of lovely ladies. I love Tori Spelling. Hello, Donna Martin, one of my favorites on 90210. Remember? Oh my god. Okay, let me hook you up with some fun stuff. Oh my god, yeah, you gotta take one of these. Oh, you gotta, here, take one of these too. Yes, these are fun. Really I want Tori Spelling to come into my store. These are washcloths. You can't forget this. Why don't I give a little goodie bag of some of our yummy treats for her? Mmm, that's nice. Right? Oh yeah, take one of those. That's new, it just came out. I'd love to get a gift certificate for tea. I would love that. I can get celebrities into my store. Hey, guys. See you soon. Hello, Dean McDermott walked in. I'll be fine without a publicist. Mm -hmm. He is so handsome in person. I'm and just his like, son was a cutie. Oh, like, you're so mighty giant. VIP <laughs> <laughs> room for you, big boy. <laughs> Oh, 
good afternoon, the pain and ill. I'm sorry, say that again? Hayes publicist calls the store today and gives me attitude, like me. She goes, can I speak with Katie? I was like, yeah, let me see if she's free right now. Yeah. And she goes, I don't care if she's free, I need to talk to her. No, you don't talk to people like that. So I'm already not feeling this Eileen conversation that's about ready to happen. You wrote me a bad check, Katie. Well, I actually put a stop on that check. And if not, you can't do that. That's the same. I, I asked my attorney. It's the same as, as writing a bad check. Well, you're still under contract. Well, here's the thing. My contract actually ended February 15th. Bill goes on. You have to give me 30 days written notice. But I don't have that anywhere. I'm not renting an apartment from you. I don't need to give you 30 days notice. You're a publicist. I will pay you for the days you work. There says nothing about 30 days, Eileen. I looked at the contract. You're just saying that. Absolutely offensive. It's really upsetting that after all the work that we have put in and the amount of phone calls you would get and the amount of... But Eileen, that's your job. I signed the paperwork. I have the copy. If you want to take that to court and try to argue it, fine. I don't care at this point. We'll I file a police report. Next time on Nail Files. You need to get a pain and nail in New York. You need to get a pain and nail in Miami. I need to prove to everyone and myself that I can do my own PR. Vanessa Hudgens is next door. Paris Hilton. Jay Wow. Julia Roberts. My God, Vanessa Williams is here. <laughs> I am ready to launch these bad boys. Da, 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 da. My spring launch is make it or break it for my brand. Do you know if the product left yet? No, I don't think it did. <gasps> I can't launch a new line if the line isn't there. Product needs to be here in like two minutes or fire is gonna be shooting out of my mouth. This cannot fail. Seriously?